the story of soft soil treatments, the chapter on wick drains and surcharge is a riveting one. Steve, what are wick drains? Well, wick, wick drains are, are basically like a, a sock that we drive into the ground that have a, a geofabric on the outside to filter the, the soil and then a core of, of plastic in with tubes on it to, to allow the water to come out. So it's like a candle. You put a, this big wick down into the ground, except instead of lighting it, it's actually drawing the moisture out of the soil. Well, the wick is driven down to whatever depth of soft soil we need in a, in a pattern. By putting the surcharge on, that loads it up and provides the energy to force the water out of the soil. Now, how much benefit do wick trains actually give us? Well, because of the permeability of soils, it's actually a squared relationship. So if we halve the distance water has to travel, we get four times the benefit out of that. So if we've got a 20 metre deposit of soft soil, and that's going to take 100 years to get all its primary settlement out, if we can, with wicks, drop that to one metre, that 100 years comes down to one year. So wow. we get a ten tenfold benefit of that. So it's very cost effective. It's a simple but cost effective way of treating soft soils as long as you've got enough time to allow that settlement to occur. Your job is dealing with stuff you can't see a lot of the time, isn't it? Absolutely. So what are we looking at underground potentially? Under here we've got a whole bunch of wick drains. They're uh, plastic drains about yay wide that uh, you shove all the way through the soft clay and to help get rid of the water. Right. And what were some of the specific challenges with this particular section? First thing is to uh, get the right drain. Uh, you've got a couple of metres of settlement here, so when it all deforms and, and uh, kinks up, you still want the water to flow. Once you've got the right drain, you've got to then get it into the ground. Um, the rigs are big. Uh, you could push to China, but you don't want to do that. So you've got to calibrate the um, installation so you only just get through the soft clay. Um, once you've done that, uh, it's a pretty robust technology. Not much goes wrong. Uh, you build the embankment, uh, monitor how it performs, and the quality is uh, reflected in the data that you collect. Okay, now as a mindset, I'm sitting in a classroom and I've seen the graphic of, of how it all works graphically, but when you're out here on a live site like this, obviously the blood starts to pump. What are some of the real challenges in real life when, when it comes to these things? Oh, the biggest thing is to get the machine on site because if um, you don't have much of a platform, then the thing sinks through the platform and you have to then dig the damn thing out of the ground again. You don't learn that in the classroom, do you? No. <laughs> now tell us about your favourite thing about wicking, the technology. It's relatively older technology. Oh, it's the simplicity of it all. It's uh, reasonably bulletproof. You um, can put it in there and um, providing you've got enough time for, the, for it all to happen, it works pretty well. Now wicking is one of the first things that goes in on a project so the settlement can happen. How long does it really take though for the, for the water to start coming up and pumping out through the wick pipes? Well the whole process will take a little bit longer than a year. Um, so you need a long period of time to use this technology, but it is cheap. Right. Now this is obviously close to swamp conditions, correct? Yep. You love working in a swamp, Rich, don't you? Where else would you be? 